First, log into your site dashboard and go to your plugins page. From there, click on Add New for installing the RNB Builder plugin. Upload RNB Builder plugin.zip file and click on Install. After installing the plugin, don't forget to activate the plugin. In our case, we have already installed and activated the plugin. Go to your dashboard appearance menu and click on Themes. Make sure you have DVI theme installed and activated in your site. Now go to DV Theme Builder option from your dashboard. You will have to add new template for your single product page. Click on Add New Template and select All Products. Then click on Add Custom Header. Please wait. While the whole page loads completely, this could take some time. After the page loading is complete, you will be able to see the DVI Page Builder panel. Click on Start Building and wait for the page to load. After page loading is completed, click on the plus button and insert a menu as module for your page header. After adding the menu, click on Save Changes to make sure all the changes have been applied. Wait for all settings to be applied. Now go back to your DV template panel and click on Save Again. After saving the template, you will need to add body content to your page template. Now click on Add Custom Body and wait for the page to load. Click on Plus button to add body content. Select a section for showing WooCommerce product image and click on Save Changes to Page Template. Click on the plus icon, and this time you will have to add RNB form for your product page template. After adding the form, make sure you have saved the form settings and also make sure you have saved the overall page setting. You will be able to see an image placeholder for your product image and RNB form placeholder for booking form. Now go back to your dashboard and click on all products. You can select any product you want and then click on Visit the Product on New Tab. You will be able to, to see the changes we have made for single product page. Now going back to DV Builder, you can apply other styling to our From. Wait for the Builder to load completely. Add Check You Other Setting Form the dashboard. Make sure everything working. OK. Vist to your product page and make sure the pricing flip box is working correctly. If all the things are working OK, then go back to your dashboard. Click on Edit Custom Content after builder loading is complete. Click on Settings for the RB form. In RB Settings form, you will be able to set custom styling to your form. You will be able to set color and other styling to your form. We will be applying some random colors to see the necessary changes to our form. You will be able to change font size and align your form labels to different positions. You will be able to apply padding margin to your form content and apply other design to from. In our case, we have applied random configuration for the form. After setting up everything, click on Save and visit your product page to see the recent changes you have made. 